So I have a book haul today. It's not a really big book haul. I have five books, I think. Um, and I didn't get them all at once. I got them over the past little while. And my boyfriend actually picked two of them out for me the last time that we went to Chapters. He was like, I'm going to pick a book out for you. And he picked two out. Um, so I'm going to just go in order with the days that I got them. The first book that I got is not like a reading book. It's called This Is Not A Book by Carrie Smith. And it is the same person who did Reckless Journal. If you're familiar with that, I think everybody is. I personally do not, like, I wouldn't really have fun with Reckless Journal. It's not the type of creativity that I enjoy, but I definitely see where a lot of people like it. And this one, I feel like, is the kind of creativity that I would take enjoyment in a lot more. And... I just, I think the things in here are so much fun. There's a few things that are similar to the Reckless Journal type things, but a lot of it I feel like are just super, super, like, creative in different ways, and I really like them. And the first part that I filled out, I'm going to show you, because I think it's funny. It says, this is a restricted area. No unauthorized personnel. Do something to this page to make it so people will want to avoid it. And this is what I did. Uh, so I just thought it was really funny, and I really enjoy all the different activities that you have to do in this. Like, one of them says to go out into a public place and pretend that you're an alien, and observe the humans, and uh, write down what they're doing as if you're, uh, like, watching them do these things for the first time, which I think would be really fun. Um, yeah, it's just a really cool book. I think it's really interesting. And, uh, yeah, so I got this at Costco, so it was cheaper than normal. <laughs> the next book I got is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I was iffy about this one. I've heard a lot of people talking about this book saying how amazing it is, but it's really creepy and it's filled with lots of creepy pictures and people say that it's really creepy and I'm not a fan of creepy. Uh, and I saw it at Walmart and I showed my boyfriend and I was like look at how creepy this is. Everyone says it's super amazing but I don't want to get it because I'm afraid. And then I saw it when I was with my mom and she was like I think you should get it. It's 40% off you should just get it and see what it's all about. So I got it. And I... Okay, first of all, that's a creepy picture of that girl in there. And I did not even realize that she's levitating. <laughs> it was sitting on the conveyor belt at Walmart, and I was just looking at it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that girl is floating. And my mom was like, yeah, you didn't know that? And I was like, no, I just thought it was a creepy girl, and now it's a creepy levitating girl. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that it's going to be super, super creepy. So someone please tell me that it's not that creepy. Or maybe I just won't read it at nighttime. <laughs> and then the three books that I got when I was at Chapters with my boyfriend recently. Um, the books that he picked out for me. He got me this one, Spirit and Dust, by Rosemary Clement Moore. Uh, and it's about a girl who can see and talk to ghosts. And so people use her for, like, murder investigations. And then there's this one day where the ghosts are like really afraid or something so she's like oh my gosh what's going on why are the ghosts afraid they're ghosts so I thought it sounded really interesting uh yeah and on the back uh my boyfriend picked it up because of the back because it was just like really big writing in like two sentences and it says Daisy Goodnight can talk to the dead and something has them terrified that just sounds really cool so I hope that this is really good I'm excited to read this one and then the next book he picked me out is also not a reading book. Um, it's called 642 Things to Write About. And it's just like writing exercises, but they're really uh, interesting. Like, fix the plot of the worst movie you've ever seen. Uh, write lyrics of a rap song. They must include a cop, a bad drug bust, and a dog. Uh, write a letter to a child explaining how to do one thing. For example, ride a horse or throw a punch. A translator doesn't want to translate what she's just been told. Oh. I write a letter from the point of view of a drug addict. So this is just really interesting, I think. Um, and a lot of stuff, like, different, like, stories and stuff can stem from the activities in here. So I really like this, and I'm glad that he found this. And then I picked out 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. And it's translated by someone who I think should get credit to. Let's see. It's translated by Tara F. Chase. Um, so I picked this out because of Raylene and uh, Ariel from 
had Foot and Prongs 07 and Aerial Beset uh, read this together, and they really, really, really liked it and said it was insane and creepy and intense and suspenseful, and so I kind of wanted to read it. Um, I, I'm a little disappointed by the cover because the cover that um, shows up, like when you search it and stuff, is way cooler looking. It's like the moon, but also an eye at the same time. And I mean, this is kind of creepy because it has like a hand in the eye, which could be a reflection, but it could also be someone trying to escape. I'm pretty excited to read this. I think it'll be good. So those are all the books that I got. I have some books on my bookshelf that I've had for a while that I might read before I start these, but I tried to read one of the Bones books and I took them right off my shelf because they were awful. <laughs> and um, yeah, so expect to see reviews for some of these books in the future and I will post links to the reviews down below whenever that does happen. Enjoy reading your own books.